welcome back, heroes, to our Stardew Valley 1.5 Let's Play series. We left off on day 16. Uh, that was episode 10, I believe. <clears throat> so, I have a little bit of a confession to make. I recorded this entire episode, well, without voice. So, I'm doing a voiceover. <laughs> Something new, I suppose. Um, I don't know what happened. I I, I'm, I bought a new mic stand, um, and the mic stand is supposed to be like um, like a shock resistant one, so it doesn't give those low rumbles for you know vibration sounds. <clears throat> um, but I guess when I was hooking it up, I hooked it up to the wrong port on the back of my computer. So whenever I went to the OBS program to record something. It, um, well, it didn't recognize the port because the port didn't have anything plugged into it. So, um, I had the mic plugged into a different port than what OBS was recording. So, <laughs> lessons learned. So, um, this episode and the next one will, uh, will be voiceovers, essentially. So, anyway, <clears throat> moving on. Um... Yeah, so we're day 16. We looks like we have a couple of crops available for us to, to pick. Um, and obviously, whenever there's um, some continuity problems in the, in the episode, like if I'm in a menu for longer than normal, I'm just going to skip it until I'm out of the menu, just to, just to make it easier for editing purposes. Um, so yeah, I'm, I probably will just just cut it and then jump to the uh, to getting out of the menu so <clears throat> anyway um, it looks like we had uh, 900 gold and with the crops that just came in we probably are getting a pretty penny so that's that's promising at least <clears throat> I think here I'm discussing that I would like to buy the bridge next to the, uh, or on the beach to the right side. I think they're called the, the tide pools. And I'm playing around with hotkeys here where you hold the control button and click, uh, right click, and it'll take half of a stack. So just showing that uh, I only need 300 wood for that. So put it in my inventory and set it aside. Um, today is the 16th, which means it is salmon berry or salmon berry seasoning. Seasoning? Season, sorry. Uh, so we'll, we'll definitely go, um, foraging for berries here today and tomorrow and the 18th as well, since that's when it ends. So, <clears throat> anyway, Dear neighbor, I hope you are feeling settled into your new home. Oh, right. Didn't get to read that. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, we're just going to go ahead and pick all these uh, parsnips real fast. And, as you'll notice in my inventory, I have a pole and some um, snacks to replenish some energy and some potato seeds. I had the potato seeds from a previous purchase um, at Pierre's. Um, so I'll, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and fast forward this up. cat's bowl and um, sprinkles looks dead there <laughs> or sprinkles 
Anyway, <clears throat> um, the retaining soil actually did a lot. I'm checking my energy there and showing that I have 57 energy left. Um, the other day when I did or watered all the crops, um, I had like I had to eat food because the uh, the energy was just too much usage. So now it's time for some salmon berry hunting. Yeah, let's speed this up. And there is a help wanted quest. So it says here, local wizard in search of flounder. 300 gold, not bad, not bad. Um, flounder though, yeah, as I'm pointing at the clock, uh, you can't catch flounder in the ocean past seven, so it might be a little difficult. Ooh, cutscene. Here we go. Well, what have we got here? Look at Pierre's, how can I help you? <laughs> Ooh, the bad man. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Come and get it, folks. Coupons are 50% off your purchase at Jojo Mart. 50%? Oh, no. Well, any takers? Yes, I believe there are plenty. Not me, Pierre. I'm loyal. <laughs> Although, you have the cheaper seats. <laughs> so, but I can't compete with those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. Don't be greedy, Pierre. It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. But can you blame them? Georgia Corporation is clearly a superior choice. Soon the whole town will realize that. <clears throat> oh. Get out of here, Morris. <laughs> Any who's all. Um, all right, Pierre's is close. <laughs> of course he is. But I'll go talk to uh, Caroline because she's very elusive. I can barely find her, or I I can barely find her. So I mean, looking really fit. Oh, good job, Jody. Here, let's have an onion. No. No, no, no. Oh, don't like onions? I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Thanks. This is really nice. Oh my gosh, I have 104 salmon berries. That's pretty good. Thank you. This makes me really special. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> what is that thing? Yeah, that's right. I don't know what that is. I bet that has something to do with some of the help wanted quests. Oh, we got cookies out of it. Sorry, Alex. Didn't mean to. <laughs> I don't think he was any hearts. Yeah, I'm checking to see if he was any hearts anyway. Yeah, none. <laughs> so he's he's fine. It's fine. The beach is a cool place to hang out and soak up some rays. Okay. <clears throat> so. Today, I'm since I'm pretty much running out of daylight, and I'm not realizing it yet, I am probably just going to, yeah, if I remember right, I'm just going to go salmon berry hunting. Yeah. Oh, the bridge. That's right. Got to repair that bridge. So I learned, well, I didn't learn, but I read um, that... This was just on like a forum website. It wasn't on like the Stardew Valley wiki or anything. So take that for what you will. 
um, that these coral and the uh, sea urchins over here in the tide pools, um, they, they respawn every Wednesday and Sunday. So, or Wednesday night and Sunday night. So Thursday, the next morning, and fr Monday, the morning after Sunday, they will refresh. So, and I, I think you, they, they, they drop on average of like one and a half items per day. So one item a day, but then every other day is two items type of thing. So, oh, we're going to go fishing. Really? Okay. Well, that's cool. Anyway, the, uh, the tide pools, I, I definitely wanted, oops, sorry. There we go. I definitely wanted that unlocked. For early game um, money, like that sea urchin there is gold. That I mean, that that's worth a pretty penny. Um, and the the corals, obviously, because the corals I'll uh, I'll use for ingredients. <laughs> a lot of people don't really realize it, but you use coral in the warp totem. And um, I mean, I'm I'm gonna want that so. <laughs> Anyway, it looks like I caught the one fish, and I'm just heading out, and I realize I'm not going to be able to catch that, that flounder today. So, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and speed this up, because I think I'm just going to go up north and finish off the salmon berry hunting. So, here we go. Back at the farm, and it's 1 a.m. <laughs> Whoops. Um, anyway, I checked my skill, and I I realized that foraging for salmon berries don't give you foraging experience, so that's cool. Uh, but 147 uh, salmon berries for the second day of salmon berry season is not bad. So, ah uh, yes, the level up for farming now. I might actually pause this so I can explain a little bit more if I don't have enough time. Um, I looked it up, and um, since we are on the um, since we are on the beach farm, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of crops. Not as much as I used to, at least, um, just because. Well, I'd have to water them every day, and that's that's kind of a big issue. I don't want to have to spend. You know, the first three hours or four hours of the day watering a large amount of crops. So, my primary focus is probably going to be ranching for animals, which is, yeah, what I'm showing you here. Um, but, one of the things that you get in the tiller line is the artesian skill at level 10. Which, if you don't know what that is, all artesian goods are worth 40% more. And, as an animal rancher... I get um, eggs and uh, milk from the animals, and I'll turn them into cheese and um, mayonnaise and all that stuff. And those are considered artesian goods, technically. And I think those are going to be my money makers in the long run. So um, I'm going to choose rancher as the uh, as the early game profession for the level five. And um, whenever I get a good amount of animals on the farm, I'll go to the sewers and talk to my little buddy in the sewers that we haven't met yet uh, to switch my profession over to the tiller. That way I can purchase the artesian um, profession at level 10. So in the long run, uh, or in the early game, it's going to be the rancher, and I'll probably pick like Coop Master. At level 10 because I I imagine I'll be I'll be level 10 farming before I'm ready to switch over to um, the other profession so um, yeah I think that's I think that's gonna be the the best strategy for this gameplay or this let's play um, now 
I, I do want to switch it. I just don't know when I'll do that. I'll probably switch it whenever I have, um, I don't know, probably like seven, seven or eight barns full of, oh my gosh, hit the mic, sorry. Seven or eight barns of animals. So, um, yeah, and I'll just switch it then. Not a big deal. It, I think it, I think it doesn't cost a whole lot of money. Um, but at, hopefully by that point, whenever I'm purchasing or selling the artesian goods, I'll be, you know, be flush with cash regardless. So I, uh, I'll be willing to make that sacrifice of gold to switch my profession to a, uh, a profession that gives me more money in the long run. So it's definitely going to be the rancher for now. So let's see how close I got. Well, not bad. <laughs> Perfect timing. Anyway. Uh, let's see here. It is Wednesday, so we have a rerun here, and it's since it's the second week, it's either going to be stir fry or omelet. I want to say it's the second week. I'm not percent sure, but the Queen of Sauce is actually pretty cool. You get a lot of good recipes from her. Um, yeah, and uh, hopefully today on Wednesday. Let me look to see what I had as my uh, to-do list. Yeah, I see. You already knew it. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to go salmonberry season and tide pool, and I'm going to try mining today if I can. But the main priority is salmonberry uh, hunting. Those are going to be those are going to be the best for early game energy, and you get just so much of it. And since I'm I'm a foraging level high enough to where Every bush will give me two things. That's going to be super helpful. So, all right, what am I looking at here? Looks like my potatoes are done, and I got some wild forageables that are finished as well. Um, I'm debating on whether to uh, wait till tomorrow to buy more seeds from Pierre's, or just turn the wild um, wild forageables into more seed packets. That way I can just kind of keep growing stuff. Um, all right, so I've organized my, my inventory a little bit. I know where I'm gonna put all my stuff. Most of the stuff I'm about to sell, so. Um, oh, don't need those, no, no, no. There you go. And yeah, I'll be out, yeah, I'm about to pull out a whole bunch of forageables to make seeds out of. There you go. Bazinga. And there's another leak down there, so I'll be able to make another another set of those seeds, which is very useful. Um, now, normally, I would just sell off those, uh, just sell off those uh, foraging, the spring foraging seeds, but I don't know. I, I think I think at this point, since Pierre's is closed and I can't buy any more seeds, it might honestly be smarter to just plant the 20, uh, well, I have 10 now, but I'm about to make another 10 more. The 20 spring foraging seeds, just to make some extra cash down the road. And you know, technically, the forageables aren't, I mean, they're worth some money. I mean, the dandelions, and those aren't that much. But the, um, the parsnips, or not the parsnips, but the wild horseradish and the leeks, they're, they're worth a good amount. So it's definitely worth it right now for me to plant them, so. Right, let's go ahead and sell off some of this stuff. Normally, I would have kept those parsnips um, for the energy. They're not giving. They're not going to give me a whole bunch of money. Um, but these guys, I have salmon berries for the uh, for the energy re rejuvenation. So I'm not too worried about it. And I honestly will probably survive on the salmon berries till the end of summer be my guess if I do it right and I forage today and tomorrow and probably get another I don't know 150 more berries um, yeah, good job scarecrow but yeah I'm about to make another set of those seeds all right looks like I'm about to sell all this real fast might as well those potatoes are gonna net me a good amount of profit but I now have 24 seeds to throw in the ground. So I'll pick up the hoe, I'll pick up the watering can, and yeah, 
I'll probably just fast forward this to read for you too. Okay, I'm back. The, um, you know, I'm about to just put everything back up and go salmon berry hunting. Um, I, at this point, I am thinking about, um, you know, chopping down trees. And I totally forgot about the, um, the help wanted ad for the flounder and honestly that's a mistake that was my bad I totally completely forgot about that um, and in my head I knew that I needed to get um, did to the mine and start working on the mines so I uh, that's why I have the, the, the pickaxe <laughs> and no sword mind you so I, uh, I'm, I flubbed up another one there you'll find out eventually um, but yeah, anyway, I'll go ahead and fast forward through the salmon berry hunting. This should eat up most of the day, so have fun there. Well, that was fun. I told you it would take all day. Also, if you didn't catch that in the in the, in the time lapse part, um, I noticed that I forgot about the flounder, and it was like 5:40. So, <laughs> whoops. Um, anyway, I decided that I was going to try my best at the mines for however long it'll take me. But as you can tell, I don't have a sword, so. It's just going to be me breaking rocks trying to find a staircase. And I'm lucky, apparently. <laughs> and there's another one. Just go right down. Yep. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I need to get some copper. So, it definitely is helpful to get copper earlier on this game. Um, and the ruby doesn't help, or doesn't hurt either. <clears throat> um, now... I do like to typically get about six to ten furnaces, um, at least five. That way, if I ever need to, like, you know, upgrade a tool or something like that, and I don't have any other of the bars available, 
I'll go and grab the ores and I'll throw them all in the furnace for as fast as I can because I'll I'll definitely need that as fast as I can and to, to catch Clint before he closes so ah, those bugs man without a sword it's very difficult I mean it's doable which is why I never I decided I wasn't gonna leave <clears throat> But as you can tell, I struggle here quite a bit, which is fine. I mean, I have a lot of health and I definitely won't die. I have salmon berries to help me. As you can tell, there's another bug on its way, but I'm pretty good at juking them too. So I overextended myself, which is fine. I'll level up the mining perk today, probably. That was a little, f like a three be a two no here we go yeah i'm a two so chances are i'll level that up here in the next hour or so and the exhaustion won't be a big issue i hope i hope i level up i don't remember i know i level up one of these two episodes <laughs> gosh <clears throat> man i'm just taking the hits though aren't i looking for that ladder <laughs> I need the ladder. Give me the ladder. Those bugs, man. Okay, I lied about evading them pretty easily. Not great at it. So, I decided, you know what? It's time to just leave. And the bugs have defeated me. Plus, it's midnight, so... Whatever. <laughs> um, I also bought, for some reason, a kale. Um, I cut it out in the, uh, in the time lapse, but I bought a a kale uh, seed from um, Joja Mart because Pierre's was closed. Um, <clears throat> oh, gotta get those berries. Yep. Um, because I wanted to be able to grow at least one of every crop and, and then ship it in the bin overnight. And I noticed that if you sell items to Pierre's and you don't put it in your bin, it does not count as you sold every type of crop you have to put the crop that is in the achievements at least into the bin so lesson learned that's a thing anyway i'm gonna do some quick organization and then i'll jump back in um i decided to go ahead and throw that ruby that i found in the chest because i need as much money as i can uh, i can get so um, also going to throw in a copper bar to get that process going to have five copper bars. The first upgrade I will do will be my watering can. It's just going to be the easiest, easiest thing and the most productive thing. So, ah, see, there you go. I leveled up from one to two. Oh, okay. So not, I wasn't going to level three. I leveled up to two. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. But anyway, that means I don't, I'm not exhausted. That's just good. I'll have later, full energy starting in the next episode. So yeah, those potato seeds, look at that. Sold 25 of them for 20 gold piece. Not bad, not bad at all. So and the cauliflower aren't bad either. Oh well, as you can tell, I passed my 2000 gold mark, which means I should be able to buy that watering can now. Hallelujah. So anyway, on that note, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Take care.